All right, so we're gonna talk a little bit about inside the waistband holster draw, particularly for CCW. As you can see, Brendan and I shop at the same store and wear the same clothes all the time, <laughs> but <laughs> be that as it may, uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about that and Brendan's gonna actually show you from the perspective of the appendix carry, and I'll show you from the traditional hip holster. So really, what's the issue with the inside the waistband draw, and what is driving our getup right now? Please explain. Well, the issue here is that a lot, uh, we see it time and time again when they, uh, you know, students get their CCW, they come back for more training, and when they're drawing, it's not consistent, right? They're grabbing from different places in their shirt. They're having different position in their body. The holster is not even the exact same place every single time, right? So consistency, uh, a lot of the issue that we're going to talk about today is um, basically inconsistency in their draws. Right. So. so, and really, it goes back to train the way you fight, right? So if this is the type of attire that you wear on a regular basis, uh, then train in that attire. So I actually wear this kind of attire on a regular basis. I <laughs> so That's we're going to show you uh, what our holster draw is like and how you can train to fix some of these problems. Now, when it comes to a four o'clock or eight o'clock carry, the first thing you want to do is you want to take your right hand or for Ernie's right hand is take it to the opposite side of the shirt, right? Get your, lift the shirt and get your primary hand into the firearm. Or he's going to go through his five point presentation at this time and go ahead and slowly break the shot. Same thing as reholstering, you're following safety procedure. You do want to search accessory holster. Clear that gauntlet one more time, ensuring nothing there, and slowly insert the firearm, smooth hands, making sure there's nothing there. All right, for you appendix carry fanboys, uh, Brendan's gonna go ahead and demonstrate for you the appendix carry draw. Now, as you can see here, Brendan's gonna go ahead and first reveal his garment with his support hand, grabbing as much as he can and pulling as much as he can up, getting a good purchase on that firearm. As When he has that, that purchase on the firearm, you'll see that his right hand or primary hand thumb is on the back side of that rear sight. So that way he doesn't have to do any hip gymnastics to get a good purchase on that firearm. From there, he will finish his presentation, press out, and break a good shot. Once he's done searching and assessing, he will then reholster the firearm again, moving his thumb back to his rear sight, that way no, no hip gymnastics, and then re-holstering the, the firearm. Now he's gonna go ahead and show you at full speed what that looks like. So really, no matter which way you carry, whether it be appendix or traditional hip holster or some other method, the, the bottom line is uh, train the way you fight and basically train in that attire. Another thing to think about is making your attire work for you. Uh, as you may have some kind of attire that, that uh, you have to wear, say for work or this or that, uh, then consider that uh, when, when deciding what position you're gonna carry in and what your draw will be like. Nothing says you don't have, you cannot alter your attire to work for you. So if you need or want to, think about how you can alter your attire to make your draw that much easier, that much better. 